we have more news about Constello and the developer just gave us a new sneak peek of how Constello will look like in game and without further ado let me just show it to you Constello just looks so majestic and I will definitely get one of those. We also get some sneak peeks of the idol animation and I just realized Constello have 6 eyes. We also get a short animation of its tail and from here we can see that Constello tail will leave a light trail. We also have new guild standard backpacks with a banner on top of it so you can represent your guild even more. If you look closely on the Constello image, you may can also see the altar behind. But you may also be wondering, where is the fountain? The fountain used to be in the middle of the room, now that Constello in the middle of the room where it is. Don't worry, it was on the right side of the hall alongside the Iron Guild. If you look closely on the picture and zoom, now you can see the symbols on the altar that you cannot see before. Now just to remind you, this is Constello walking animation. And we also have the flying animation. wondering how does the new guild system work the guild system works differently than the first one on the first guild war for every mission you do you will get one guild crystal and we will be rewarded with five tier rewards and the fifth tier will be Mike Sora. the second guild wars is different from what i hear i think on the tier 5 you will get some guild gems or maybe at the end of the war you will get guild gems i'm still not sure of how the system will be because the developers haven't told us much about it but i believe we will get guild crystals but not the dragon Instead, Instead, you can summon the dragon on the guild altar. You may be thinking, this system is not going to be fair if people just can keep buying the dragon's value will go down so fast. No, developers will balance it out and from what I've heard, you can only get enough crystals to buy the dragon only if your guild was on the first or second place and if you already reached tier 5. If you haven't reached tier 5, don't worry because you can still save up those gems to eventually buy the dragons that you want. This new system means that we can pick the dragons we want and we can just skip the ones we don't want. And I think that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time.